We're taking a closer look into Governor Kathy Hochul's clean water infrastructure budget proposals. Our New York Capital correspondent Elise Klein is breaking down the issue in the legislature and hearing from experts. In her $227 billion budget, Governor Kathy Hochul proposes $500 million in additional funding for clean water infrastructure. But some experts say this is not enough to address New York's clean water crisis. We have enormous clean water needs in New York. We have 100-year-old water mains that are constantly breaking, billions of gallons of raw sewage that is being discharged every single year and polluting our lakes and rivers. We need investments to make sure that when New Yorkers turn on the tap, what's coming out is safe to drink. Water infrastructure projects can vary from upgrading water treatment plans with new treatment technology to keep toxic chemicals out of drinking water to upgrading wastewater and sewage infrastructure. Hayes says the current water infrastructure spending and grant program continues to fall short of funding 100 percent of the shovel-ready projects that local governments submit because there is not enough funding to go around. Uh, so when we don't adequately fund clean water, that means that there are going to be projects left waiting in the wings and clean water benefits that won't be reaching the New Yorkers who need it most. In a recent environmental budget hearing, some lawmakers also expressed concern about local municipalities' access to water infrastructure funding. Senator Michelle Hinchy suggested creating a funding stream model that would increase this access. In Albany, Elise Klein, WNY News Now.